Hi guys, it's Lauren from Lauren's Fitness here and I'm going to talk today about quick tips you can do to help your lower back pain at home. So, uh, if you're suffering from excruciating back pain or severe lower back pain, then you need to get to a practitioner straight away and get a diagnosis. You might have a herniated disc or you know, there's a lot of degenerative things that can be going on in your back that, that you actually do need a proper diagnosis for before you can move ahead with treatment plans. For the rest of us, and you know, most of us who do suffer from lower back pain, it, it's, it's muscular and 80% of it sometimes can't be explained. But I've found in, in a lot of cases, these tips can help you. So at the start, you're going to focus on your glutes and your hip flexors. Tight hip flexors, as we've spoken about before, they, they put a lot of pressure on the lower back. You know, And inactive glutes mean that your lower back is going to work on that extension and it's going to do a lot more work. You really want your glutes firing and you want your hip flexors to be loose. So and what we'll do is we'll start by activating our glutes. I, I like a simple, simple exercise, just, just the bridge. So for beginners, we're going to start out with two legs and lift up. Now, the cue you need to think about, move my foam roller, is to push through, your, push through your heels to bring your hips up level. And you do that about 15 times. Uh, the next progression on that is one leg. So one leg's up, one leg's working. Same principle, push through your heel. The next thing you can do to get a bit more stretch on this hip flexor is pull this leg, this knee, sorry, close to your chest and pull up. Same, about 15 repetitions. So this is going to activate, they're going to activate your glutes to start and that's really important. Alright, the next thing you do, we've actually got another video, I'll put a link to it, about stretching your hip flexors. Uh, you need to stretch your hip flexors out. So, straight up, arms up, hold on. We've got a variety of hip flexor stretches you can do, they're going to help you. Alrighty. The next thing we want to do is we can do some myofascial release through the front and a little bit on your glutes. So front wise with your hip flexors, a little trick that I like to do is using a book, my, my Learn French book, <laughs> on your stomach. Now your hip flexors, you want to find your navel, your belly button, and move about one, one and a half inches to the right or left. So spot on right there is where we're going to put the tennis ball. Put the tennis ball down on the book. And just lay down. You'll feel it hitting your hip flexors. Alrighty, and you hold that for about 30 seconds or until you get a release. You can push up as well to put the hip flexors on stretch a little bit. You can also move over. <coughs> that, that will hit your psoas. The other one you got is your ilio iliacus, sorry. You can do that, just relax. Now you find the top of your hip bone and you put your thumb just inside that and just move around a little bit. I find this helps a lot in my back pain because I find that my hip flexors get quite tight and my back reacts to it. Uh, these are all good things to do as opposed to stretching your lower back. If you, if you have lower back pain, your first instinct is to stretch it, but it, it often can cause a lot more problems than, than, uh, than help. So avoid putting your back into, into too much crazy flexion and stretching and, and try to work out the things that, that you need to around it. Um, your glutes, we can do a little bit of foam roller work. So on your glutes, up here like this. Your glute med, which is your top glute, and it attaches to the top of your hip bone, up the back here. Uh, it has a lot of trigger points which can cause referral into your lower back. So this is an area that you want to work. Same thing, same area, tennis ball. Put it in there and move around on your upper glutes. It's exceptionally painful. <laughs> but it often does help back pain a little bit. The last tip that I would get you to do is just to put a heat back on your lower back. So heat really does help with muscle pain because of uh, yeah, blood circulation. So you want to get warm, warm muscles and they, they do translate to pain-free muscles. This isn't going to help all back pain, but these are really common problems that a lot of people have. So if you're sitting at a desk a lot of time, your hip flexors get tight, your, that pulls on your lower back, your glutes get weak, you're walking inefficiently, you're moving inefficiently, and your lower back's got a lot more stress on it. So these are the things that we're going to try to address, and it, and it'll help a lot of you. So try them out, a little bit of a quick sequence you can do at home, and yeah, let me know how you go. Cheers.